Hey everybody, this is Justin Cussman and uh, I'm here to show you kind of a quick tutorial in Adobe Premiere Pro uh, for editing audio, which is a very simple thing to do. And again, I'm just going to go over the basics, not a lot of the in-depth stuff. So first things first, we're going to make a new project in Premiere. Uh, a couple things in Premiere, when you are making a new project, always title your projects. So I'm going to call this Audio Audio Editing. Okay, really important. When you're creating something for Premiere, always make a new folder for it. That's one thing that a lot of people do wrong, especially when they first get into this, is they will string files all over their computer, and then they will move those files and their project breaks. So always keep everything in the same folder. That's a big, big thing. All right, now you might want to make subfolders too. Maybe I'd make a new folder just called audio, and I would make another folder uh, called, you know, Premiere files, things of that nature, anything you might think you want to add in here, okay? So I'm going to keep my Premiere file in my Premiere files folder. Click choose. Okay, a couple different things here. Uh, this is actually my capture format, which is fine. I'm going to click OK. And when my Premiere uh, workspace opens up here, I need to create a new document, our new new sequence. Okay, now I've got mine kind of set up a little bit crazy, uh, so I'm just going to show you some things that you've probably already gone through, uh, how to set up your workspace, things in that nature. So one thing I need to do is go to Window, and this is great if you work in a in a location where there's a lot of other people using computers, um, like say for instance a lab format, or, or if you're at a studio with a bunch of different people, uh, you definitely want to save your own workspace. So Window Workspace. And what we've got here is I can do any one of these things. Now, one of these is, is the audio editing workspace, which is what I'm going to use today. So I'm going to go in and use audio. And it changes all my palettes around, so I have the audio workspace. All right. So now I need to create my sequence. So file, new, sequence. Okay. And now here, this is really important, and a lot of people don't go over this stuff. This is going to be your uh, sequence size, which is really important. You have to know the size that you are going to input video into this. So if I shot video on a camera that does 1080p 30, which is a, the most, you know, one of the most common HD formats, or 720p 30 here in HD, I would need to know that first. It's a big pain in the, uh, the ass to, to get this to a different format once you've already done it. You can do it, but it's sure no fun to go through and edit things after you've already set your format. So just, again, look at your device, see what you're capturing. I'm going to do the classic 1080p30. I'm only doing audio anyway, but let's just say this is what I want. Okay, name your sequence as well. Okay, so now I've got a new sequence. Okay, so now I need some media to go in my sequence. Again, remember this is our basic workspace here. You got your program window, your bin for all your projects, and your timeline. Okay, now to get some audio here, there's a lot of places you can get open source or at least audio that you can use for editing video. Now, this is an important thing as a designer to know. Here's a great website. I use this website for a lot of different stuff just, just to kind of demonstrate things. It's audionautics.com. This one is great because it has a lot of free kind of uh, music clips that you can get. So let's just say I'm going to snag, I don't know, let's just go with like a, uh, I don't know what we got here. Let's let's just do like a jazz music here. I'm going to grab that. And uh, again, you can kind of narrow it down if you want, but I'm just going to go with just one genre. And now I've got some music I can listen to. Now you can preview it if you want. I can go through and I can preview this music here. Okay, and I can see. There we go. And let's just say I like this one. Now don't click. It seems kind of contrary to what you think. Don't just click this. Don't click that. Right click it. And you want to save the link out or save target as, whichever browser you're using. I'm using Chrome, so it's save link as. And I'm going to save this link into my folder. Okay, audio editing audio and name it whatever it is. Okay, this is fine. I'm going to click Save. Now there's a lot of different kinds of formats Premiere will take audio-wise. You want to try to either get WAV files, which are the most high-end uncompressed format, or MP3 files, M4V. There's a lot of different ways you can do this. Premiere will take most of them though. Okay, so to get this in here, File, Import, Command-I. You can double-click in your bin over here. Any number of ways to do that. I'm going to double-click in my bin. And I'm going to snag my audio file, Bebop 25 MP3 from Audionautics. Import. And here's my file. Now, if you can see the waveform, that's fine. But you might want to test it. Check this out. You can you can just press play up here. 
and you can get a little preview of it. Okay. What I can also do, double click it, it shows up over here. Okay. Or I can drag it to my timeline. All right. So now it is on my timeline. All right. So what I've got here, I'm just going to change my workspace here a little bit. Here's my clip. And I can scrub, and I can I can you know check out my my timeline here and see what I've got. Uh, let me go back to workspace audio. I'm going to reset this just so, or let me reset my workspace because I, I changed something here. So workspace reset current workspace. Okay, because I wanted to see this right here. Okay, so my audio clip mixer up top here. Keep an eye on this. See, as I'm dragging here, I can kind of see uh, what my my audio levels are. That's really important to kind of ride herd on your audio levels. I want to be able to watch these. If they go too far into the red, if it pushes way up top, my clip is far too loud. The input volume was too loud when it was recorded. You don't want that. Okay, I want to keep my, my peak uh, below the top of this zone up here. All right, so simple stuff. Let's keep this simple. Right over here, okay, and you can do this now. If you're working in an older version, there'll be a little triangle over here that you can click, but I'm in a little bit newer version. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll with my mouse. See where it says A1? I'm audio track one. I'm scrolling with my mouse, and this opens up my audio track. In the older versions, you have to click a little triangle, and it'll drop down this waveform. This audio waveform I can now see, okay? See that? And I can see it. I can see the peaks and the valleys in my waveform here. You can zoom in. Actually, you want to zoom in a lot so that you can see the waveform. Now I can scrub back and I can actually see where my audio dips and gains in volume. Okay. Now to cut audio, it's actually really, really simple. All you got to do is use your razor tool. It's like the multi-purpose tool in, in, uh, in Premiere. You grab that razor tool. Say I wanted to cut out just this bit right here. Snip. Click with the razor tool. That's all you got to do. And now I can grab this piece and separate it from the others. I can move it. I could delete it if I wanted to. I could copy and paste it. You know, Control C, Command C, uh, and Command V or Control V, and I could paste it. You know, way over here. And notice it sticks to my playback head. If I paste it, it pastes wherever my playback head is. So you can do a lot of different stuff just to move the audio around, things of that nature. Um, another thing that you can do, this is actually probably the most important thing with audio in Premiere. Okay? A lot of people want these fade-ins and fade-outs and things of that nature. Now you can do those with a, uh, with a uh, filter over here or an effect, which we'll get into later. But I'm going to show you the, kind of the more labor-intensive way that actually comes in handy a lot more. To simply turn the audio up, you see right between these two channels. This is my left channel, which I get to boil it down as the left headphone that I've got on our speaker. The right channel, okay. Between these two channels, you have see how my mouse turns to this little arrow with the up and down uh, arrows b beside it. I can turn up my volume, my decibels. I can turn them up or I can turn it down, okay. I can turn it up and it gets really loud. Or I can turn it down and it's completely silent, okay. That's how you raise and lower your volume. Now to get a simple fade in, all I've got to do, right here, add or remove keyframes. I'm going to click that and it's going to drop a keyframe. A keyframe is a frame that just holds some kind of data. In this case, it is a volume keyframe, okay, volume data. I'm going to click that there and then I'm going to go, say I want it to fade in here. I'm going to set another keyframe. Okay, notice I've got two, one, two keyframes. Now all I've got to do, grab this first keyframe, drag it down. It's that simple. Now I've got a simple fade in. Now it's very quick, so I could, if I wanted to make that fade in longer, drag this further down the line. And now I've got a gradual fade in, see? And you can always add more keyframes. If I wanted the audio to spike and then come back down, I could pop another keyframe in there, and I could pull this back down, and now the volume changes over the duration of the length of that clip. Okay, there you go. All in all, that's the that's probably the, the, the most important things to, to talk about when creating some audio in Premiere, just the ability to, to clip and things of that nature. I mean, you've got some things over here you can play with in the audio editing track. You can raise and lower your, your volume over here. You can shift to the left and the right channel if you need to. But 99 times out of 100, what you're going to be doing is using this little snapper, the little rubber band down here to, to raise and lower the volume. Okay, so the last thing you'd want to do is export this. And I want to go through that just because that's incredibly important. File, 
export media. Now make sure you have your timeline. Notice I have my audio clip uh, clicked and not my timeline. Make sure you click your timeline down here, your sequence. File, export, media. Okay, now if this is a just an audio file, uh, then I could pr I could export this just as a mix essentially. Now I could, if I wanted to, export it as an MP3, which is a compressed audio format. Keep in mind that MP3s are lossy. If you compress something as an MP3, you're losing quality. At, at the, basically, you're getting smaller size at the expense of audio quality. If you want to maintain your quality, use a WAV file. Okay, so, but we could just export it as an MP3. But I want to show you just because a couple people have asked about this. H.264. Say this was a video. This is the format you want to use. Okay, if you wanted us a nice small video, H.264. Okay, presets for H.264. Notice there are tons of these in here. So there's lots of previews. I just had somebody ask me how would I export something so I could stream it onto YouTube. What's the best way to do that? H.264 is viewable on almost any kind of device. It streams very easily. H.264. If you wanted to make it really small, you could do a 480p. You could do a widescreen if you shot in widescreen, or just an SD square uh, ratio, 4 by 3 ratio. Okay, you also have the bigger ones, 720p, 1080p. If you export as 1080 and pop it on YouTube, YouTube will keep your 1080 compression. So you can have nice HD videos. So let's say we want that. Then we name our file, bingo. Okay, and I would render it. It's my audio editing, rend you know, final render save and I'm going to export it and it will blast through that editing depending on how long it's going to take so that in this case it would take three minutes which I'm not going to make you sit through so there you go that's kind of some simple ways you guys can go through and uh, edit your your audio in Premiere it's pretty simple uh, as always if you wanted to see any more complex videos just give me an email justincussman at gmail.com and I'll do my best to make a video uh, that that's, uh, addresses the subject alright hope you enjoyed it have a good one